Here in my MacBook Pro, I have a Time Machine backup that's been running for a couple years, ever since I started using this particular Mac. Here in Time Machine Preferences, we can see that the oldest backup that I have is from October of 2018, so about seven months back. Normally, this would be even further back, but the capacity of my backup drive is probably not as large as it should be. It's four terabytes, but it's backing up both the one terabyte SSD drive in the MacBook Pro and an external four terabyte drive. If these were both full, the backup couldn't be completed. But I've excluded a lot of folders, mostly on the external drive. So let's open up the TM backup drive. The only folder in here is the Time Machine backups folder. If I drill down into it, we can see each incremental backup has its own folder, titled by date. The first one being the oldest backup from October. In each of these is a folder for my Macintosh HD and the external 4TB drive. When you're actually using Time Machine, you should never need to interact with these folders or the files within them. We only need to interact with the backups through the Time Machine interface. So here in the Documents folder, I'm missing a couple small movie files. I know that they were in this folder recently, so let's enter Time Machine and take a look. To do that, I'll go up to the Time Machine item in the menu bar and choose Enter Time Machine. That brings us into the full screen Time Machine interface. Over to the right is a timeline of all my backups going back to October of 2018. In the center is my Finder window open to the current Documents folder. Use these arrow buttons to cycle through the backups one by one. To jump to a specific date, click on it over in the timeline. If I choose the March 11th backup, I'm then looking at the State of the Documents folder on that day. We can navigate to other folders in the Finder to see what was in them on that day as well. In the March 11th Documents folder, the River and Hot Coals video clips are there. To get these back, I just need to select each of them and then click the Restore button. That's going to return them to the current Documents folder back in the normal Finder and Desktop view. So that's how we can recover specific files using Time Machine. But we can also restore an entire Mac from a Time Machine backup. There are two instances where you would want or need to do this. If you get a new Mac, when you first turn it on, Migration Assistant will appear. With your Time Machine backup drive attached to the new Mac, you'll be able to locate the backup and transfer its entire contents to your new Mac. It's really easy and very convenient. The other method is to use recovery mode to restore a drive. This could be necessary if your hard drive went bad and was replaced with a new blank drive. To enter recovery mode on a Mac, hold down Command-R right after turning the Mac on. So during startup, it goes directly to recovery mode. From the utilities there, you'll be able to restore from a Time Machine backup. Again, make sure your backup drive is attached to the Mac. You can then select the specific backup that you want to restore. Hopefully you never need to use Time Machine other than when moving to a new Mac. But knowing that you can easily recover individual files and folders, or your entire Mac if necessary, is very comforting with all the important data that we have on our Mac.